Coach uh, Luke Luke Miko had a nice game for you. Did you kind of uh, you kind of expect him to have a career high against UCLA? <laughs> It's nice he had a career high against UCLA. Um, it happened kind of uh, out, a little bit about an accident and the fact that Joe Alwich picked up early foul trouble both at UNLV and um, against UCLA, picked up a, a foul here or there. Uh, it was an aggressive game, and the officiating with the new NCAA rules has really tightened up. Um, there's a lot of, lot of fouls being called, both sides, a few more on us. And so we're making some adjustments to that, but it was nice when Joel was in foul trouble that Luke came in, really gave us a tremendous spark. Uh, Reese Morgan's coming in off the bench. Between Reese and Luke, as you can see with our depth this year, we have reminded our team over and over we have 10 or 11 starters because any one of those guys can be a leading scorer for us. Uh, game against UCLA, you guys were knocking down some jumpers. Uh, is, I mean, that all part of the game plan? Fast. You talked about the fast pace. Did, did you like what you saw? I love the fact that we scored. We, we, we scored points against, uh, we got 72 points against uh, UNLV uh, this weekend, and then we got up to, what was the final score, 80, um, I believe, uh, with uh, 82. Was it 82, 80, what was the final score of that one? 88, 83. For us to get over 80 points against uh, a high major Division One team with the athletes shows that we do have the, the, the offensive ability to really score. Um, I don't think we're a top 50 program just kind of looking at the uh, press releases on graduate coach Sampson and you know being one of 48 teams in the NCAA tournament getting to play UCLA that's quite an accomplishment because that's that's top 50 in the nation right now. Uh, we, we, we see uh, Peyton getting to the national tournament I think she was 13th at the, the regionals or whatever that was so you know those are elite performances and we're still not quite there. We are within a point of UNLV a basket and we are within uh, a possession or two of UCLA. The, both of our top 50 programs. Um, we're somewhere outside of that right now, but we've got a, a, a few more weeks of training before we hit conference play. So look forward to the coming weeks. Yeah, uh, I want to kind of go into that a little bit more. You know, you guys were within UNLV to the very end, obviously, and UCLA at one point you led. Mm -hmm. uh, so you talk about not being a top 50, but you were competing with these teams couldn't quite get over that hump. What kind of, what kind of inhibited you from kind of getting those wins? Well, I've had a chance to really evaluate it and meet staff and watch film. One of the things I think is our new style of play. Uh, it takes a little bit of energy out of you, uh, even when you're playing 10 or 11. We're, we're that aggressive offensively and defensively, and that style is it's entertaining, it's exciting, and it allows us to come back because we are scoring quick and we're shooting that three, but also fatigues you a little bit. And you can see that with uh, our top free throw shooter. Uh, in the history of Cal Poly is Reese Morgan at 88%, and he missed a couple free throws, and he missed a, a, a shot or two down the stretch where he'd hit four or five and finally missed a couple with a fatigue towards the end of the game. And we saw that in a couple of different areas where we just saw a little bit of our fatigue, and it's emotional fatigue, it's physical fatigue, it's, it's just pushing and grinding. Um, so it's, it's pretty exciting to know that we're just close, but we're not there. And uh, we'll have a chance tomorrow to see if our style and our energy can be regrouped and uh, do it at home. Um, what do you know about Monterey Bay as a team? Well, I tell you what, um, this kind of reminds me a lot of uh, when it, the amount of respect that we had for Cal State San Bernardino. Monterey Bay is a team that went in last weekend and beat Utah State. Utah State is one of the top 10 winningest home prep basketball programs in the nation. That's along with Duke and uh, Kentucky, their home record is in the top 10 in the nation. They have a 90% win percentage at home. And Monterey Bay, as Division II school, went in there after getting beat by Utah, two days later went there and beat a Utah State team. So we have a tremendous amount of respect for their team, their coaching staff. They have a senior-dominated team with multiple guards that can shoot, pass, and dribble. Uh, we're going to have to be stronger inside than we were against UNLV and UCLA. We just did not rebound well enough against those programs. They are seven foot and six nine, and they crushed us on the glass. We have to be more physical. We need to do the same thing to Monterey Bay as UNLV and UCLA did with us. Those teams dominated the inside game, and we've got to be very, very tough inside and getting inside pat baskets as well as really being tougher on the on the boards. Has Joe Claro basketball arrived here? Is that what what's happening? No, we got to win a game first. Um, 
the, the, the style, the style I've always wanted to coach, uh, style I, I've coached most of my career has been a up-tempo push run it. I played a very up-tempo point guard game myself. We always ran through my, my college career, high school career. We were running, pressing, trapping team. Uh, I coached that way throughout my junior college career. We were leading scorer team in, in the in the Northwest for years. Um, even though our Division three team ran a little bit more than this. So, you know, as a USC as assistant, we were a fast-breaking team. So it wasn't um, in the second part of our career at Seattle U. But at Cal Poly, we, we hadn't had the athletes and the depth to really be a running team. You've got to have tremendous depth and talent to run and push it. We're still making that adjustment. I imagine it's going to take us I, up until conference play to really adjust to that because we haven't gotten Josh Martin into the lineup yet. Uh, Brian Bennett's still not in shape. Zach Gordon has a, a, a still pretty banged up knee, won't be able to practice today. Alex uh, Abrams is still rounding into good shape where, where they can run for five minutes straight. I mean, the pace that we're playing and the aggressiveness that we're playing, um, the better shape we get and the fewer fouls we'll commit as well. So we're on our way to what my dream Joe Colero basketball uh, approach would be, but we're probably another six weeks away from my, where I'm confident that we can keep that pace and that aggressiveness all game long. Well, you touched on it, but in both games you were down, uh, the first one way down, and you came back and uh, took the lead against UCLA and, and uh, nearly bait UNLV in Las Vegas. Yeah, we were down by 13 at UNLV, came back and tied the game, and we were down 15 at uh, UCLA, came back and took a one-point lead. And in both those games, the ability to shoot the three, uh, score quickly, change our defenses, change a defense that will work effectively, uh, put us, you know, nose to nose with top 50 teams, back to back on the road uh, with their home crowd. So we, we definitely like the direction we're moving in, but um, even my daughter understands that the, the victory is not just trying to get close. She goes, I know you're upset, Dad, because we didn't win the game. And that's how we got to view our program. We want to be a top 50 program. You can't play top 50 programs close. You need to beat top 50 programs on their home court because we're not getting top 50 games here unless our budget is increased by 1.5 million soon. So we're going to be on the road for quite a while. Yeah, it looks like most of your games are road games. Yeah, it's called uh, finances. We get paid quite well to travel, and uh, we don't have any money to pay for teams to come here. What are you hoping to do against uh, Monterey Bay? Are you volunteering a large donation? No. Okay. So you notice how I just changed yeah, the subject? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, talk about what you want to accomplish with Monterey Bay. We need to, we need to demonstrate the ability to balance uh, some interior game. We need to become a better rebounding team um, and, and get an interior game that allows us to get extra points, offensive rebounding, defense boards. We have got to win the rebounding battle against a, a, a team that can score and has great guard play. Uh, doesn't have the depth and the size that we have. We have got to be able to demonstrate that we can play a physical brand inside. Besides just running, you can't run if you don't rebound consistently. And I think we, both of those games, we would have had a good chance of pulling those upsets had we rebounded better. So I think that would be the emphasis going into tomorrow night's game. Thank you. Thank you, guys.